apple. Awesome. Good job. Yay. I'm Cheyenne. I've been on MTV's Are You The One and The Challenge. I met Corey while filming the show. Cheyenne, boy, does she look like Rihanna, and that's my dream girl. That's love at first sight. And months later, at the reunion, we hooked up. I don't kiss and tell. <laughs> but wait, what? Me neither. I never okay, kiss so and tell. Okay, so you kiss. Okay, fine. I had a boyfriend at the time, so when I found out I was pregnant, I wasn't sure who the father was. I never thought that I would have a baby before I got married. I did everything by the book except this. It was really hard, but I have a big family that supported me through it all. It wasn't until Ryder was six months old that we got the DNA test and found out that Corey was the father. Now we're co-parenting Ryder and I'm a stay-at-home mom. I love you. I recently started dating Zach, a family friend. He got me Simon on Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. I was trying to think of when did Simon, Simon Simon's there. there. And he just moved in with me and my sister. So, where's Moot? She's taking a nap before we go to gymnastics class. All right. Well, who are you going with? Is your mom? Corey's going to meet us there. I don't get an invite? Well, I'm about to go to the Grove with Malik, so I'll see you when you get back. All right. Moochie Mooch! Are those probably for me? No. Me? They're not for you, actually. What but are they can, for? You can have them. Are they really for Ryder? Mama, look! Are so they, they for me, me? Corey? <laughs> Hi, Mama. Look what Daddy got you. Wait, so the flowers really aren't for me? No. You can have one. <laughs> I think we're late, right? Hi, Mama. You glad to see Daddy? flowers and I don't? I can't. Okay, now we're gonna get ready to warm up. We'll start by bouncing out. Get your bodies nice and moving. Oh, I don't think I should. I blew it. Yeah, I blew it. Yeah, I blew it. Yeah, I She's like, yes. <laughs> She's in her own world. She does not care. No. Whoa. You're going to break the whole wall. I'm so This is a you. challenge. You're embarrassing. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> How would her gym class go? What they have her doing? She like ran around and did what she wanted. And how would it make you feel if I was there, if I were to come? It wasn't a like, I don't want you to come with us. It was just more so of like, I just didn't know like how it would all work out. Between what, like me, Corey being there together or what? No, well that, and just like, you know, it's like when you come, like, do you want to come on the floor? Do you want to sit and watch the class? Like, like what role like, do you want to play? On my end, like it's like, if I want to be there, I'm there for support. I don't need to be interacting with you guys during the class. Like, Kylan! R. Can you see if you can get her to take, this, take a, a nap? Let's go. Or put her in the bed. She's just tired. If you go in my room and turn something on, she'll probably go to sleep. Um. I mean, of course the situation is awkward for me. Like, I'd be lying if I said, oh, no, it's not awkward. Yeah, no, he just needs to understand, like, I'm not here to take his role, or I'm not trying right. to, you know. You're not like, here telling Ryder to call you dad. Yeah, like, no, it's, no, it's, I have the utmost respect for, you know, him being a father to Ryder, so I'm not here to do anything, to tear that apart or do anything. I'm trying to keep both you and Corey at, like, on the same page about things, but us being in a relationship, I have to make sure, like, you feel, like, secure within our relationship to understand that when Corey are doing things with Ryder or for Ryder, that's what it is. I've had my insecurities as any normal person would, but it's like, if I care about you and want to be with you, I'm going to make it work. Boom. Boom. Labor was the most 
intense thing. How long were you in labor for? How long? 28 hours. It took them like an hour to stitch me. Oh yeah, it was I like a real get. process. Next baby, I'm I'm here for the shot. I'm running to get the epidural. There's no way. I labored without an epidural for, thank you. For like, so next baby? 18 hours I did, and for what? Because at the end of the day, I got an epidural, so I might as well have gotten one <laughs> earlier. Like, that was the dumbest decision ever, so. I heard next baby. <laughs> yeah, when Riders turns two, I'm getting pregnant. I want Sound another like baby. That's like, it, it, it is a, it's like not a necessarily a demand, demand, but it's just what's going to happen. Yeah. 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 We probably talk about having more kids more than we talk about getting married. Yeah. I think the marriage talk has happened like once or twice. The marriage talk happened like once, and then I'm pretty sure I scared you because I showed you pictures of rings that I wanted. <laughs> That talk went real well. <laughs> so how often does this baby conversation come up between you and Zach? Every time we do it. Just about the times when Corey takes the baby, you know? <laughs> Corey wants to spend as much time with Ryder as possible, so he's helping me run some errands today. I cannot wait for your family barbecue tomorrow. Yeah, I'm excited. What time? What time's everything starting? It's like an afternoon thing, right? Yeah, so we said like three so that people, I mean, you yeah. can come whenever, we'll be good. I want to get some advice from your dad and stepdad with the whole co-parenting, like you said, like him and David never really got into it and you yeah. never really felt tension for them. So that's a hand of applause for them because that's amazing, you know what I'm saying? So. I want to have more of a relationship with your dad. I think that's good that you guys have a good, like, relationship. I go to him a lot for, like, advice when I don't want someone to tell me what they know I want to hear. Yeah. What's your dad have to say about the whole Zach living with you? Actually, I'm not sure if my dad really knows. What? How does your dad not know? I mean, like, when I know my he dad... wouldn't be okay with that. Well, let's your not make it a conversation. A... I don't want to be the one to slip up. Corey? I'm just saying, I know your dad. I, I, know. I don't know him that well, but I know him well, well enough, enough that to know that he was like this. Yeah, <laughs> I know your well, dad is very protective. Well, maybe that's why I haven't had the conversation with him. Well, I think it's, I think it's time to. I you're think... not, you can't just hide your boyfriend in I'm your house. I'm not hiding for... him. Well, you're not hiding him, but you're not addressing it either. <sighs> you're making me sweat. I'm glad my dad and I worked things out so we could finally have fun. What? What? As the party was ending, one of Zach's friends started causing trouble with me after he had too much to drink. I told Zach to kick him out, but he's still here and I'm really upset. Listen, listen. I'm so done. Listen, no, listen. Like, I just want everyone to leave. Like, I'm done. Like, no, I'm done. No, listen. His friends can go. He can go. I'm good. Like, the fact that he's not leaving and the fact that his friend is waving a bottle in my face, Listen, listen, listen. His listen. friend literally no, just waved Cheyenne, a bottle Cheyenne, in my face Cheyenne, as I, after I said, Cheyenne, Malik. Malik, Malik keeps screaming at me, and Zach is just watching him. Like, where's Malik? Exactly. He's that's what problem. that is the problem. This He's is, here still. Where? where? Cheyenne, stop. Y'all doing it's, too much. Don't stop being this dude. He ain't gonna make no cut. No, cups. he's kidding. No, you're doing too much. Let's go. He's either calling me crazy, calling me out of my name. So now you're crazy. She's on my case. Like, get him out of here. What do I do? This is my homie. I grew up with him. Before I kick you out, I'm gonna ask you what's going on. You guys are all coming at me like I'm doing too much, and I get that, Cheyenne. but either one of you... If you, you don't do 10 seconds of yoga, if you don't sit on there and pray to the Lord's above You weren't disrespected, and you weren't disrespected. I feel you. I go after this Okay, again. so Cheyenne. if someone wants to sit there and disrespect me, what am I supposed to do? They should not be in our lives. Okay, exactly, so get out. You get right bounce, right? I mean, she want me gone, so yeah. Okay. Go. All right. So you need to go. Right. All right. Well, look, look. You need to deal with your girl. Yeah. And then. Shy. Cheyenne. Zach. Zach, get out. Please, I think. I'm calling him an Uber. <laughs> Chill. I'm calling Malika Uber. I'm getting him out of here. What you want? Don't let her be the worst. Don't let her be the worst. I'm not going to shut, shut up. up. I'm not going to do what you shut say. Up. I'm not your shut puppet. Up. Get shut out of here. Shut up. Hey, you shut up. You shut up. You're so shut immature. Up. You can't hold your liquor. You can't hold your liquor. Zach, Zach, stop. I'm going to stop. stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm done. Get the f out. 
feel bad that I blamed Zach for all the drama at the barbecue last night. So I invited him over to my mom so I can straighten things out. Oh, man. What's up, Sean? How do you feel about last night? How do you feel you handled the situation? I think that it could have been handled better on everyone's side. And I think that maybe next time I should give you time to resolve the situation as opposed to just flipping on you. Don't you think you should just already trust me that I have your back as your boyfriend? Yes, Versus... but when he kept taunting me, then I didn't feel like that, which is why I snapped. I get that, but you can't snap. Like, you can't do that. So what am I supposed to do? Just have some patience and trust the process that I'm gonna handle the situation. Because you didn't see me physically walk up to him, tell him to get the f out. You felt I didn't handle the situation because I didn't do it exactly how you wanted it to be done. I'll take that. Uh, I just need you to understand I'm here for you and I'm not trying to, oh, what you smiling for? That is so nice. Aww. But yeah, I'm here for you and I don't want you to think that I had his back before I had yours. I just, me, I, the way I handle things, I don't like to handle things dramatically. I'm just a tad bit more dramatic. A tad? like a mile stretch. I'm not that dramatic. You're very dramatic, Shaw. I don't care. I'm passionate, there's a difference. Where was the, pa what was you passionate about in that situation? The whole thing I was passionate. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. The whole situation I was passionate. <sighs> what are you All right, Shaw. I'm happy that we are able to sit down and have a conversation about it and not let it drag out and become an even bigger problem because at the end of the day, we don't have a problem. It was more of just a problem with him and the situation and everyone could have handled it differently. But moving forward with our relationship, we both have to communicate better and, right? Yeah, I'm agreeing. I'm just letting you talk. Oh, I'm done. That's it? We're good, right? <laughs> yeah, we're good, woman. Can I have a kiss? Mm. What up, Shy? Run, Ryder, run! Where is she? Give me a hug. Give me a hug. How long are you in town for? Till Wednesday. Uh, Hi, sweetie. You've been staying at my mom's? Yeah. How's that? It's been actually amazing. Really? You're not yeah. bored? No, it's been, a, it's like a real vacation, just hanging out by the pool. Come here, sugar. Uh, oh my god, she is so cute. So, you know, I've heard distant rumors. Distant rumors? From, you know, from Nana to Nana. Uh, they say she has some rare disorder, like some. Yeah, it's I don't understand. She looks perfect. I Look think at you, she Ryder. is perfect. Ryder was born with a rare genetic disease called VLCAD. What is it called? VLCAD. Wow. She can't process fatty foods. When she was first born, she had to eat every two hours. She has to take medicine in the morning and in the night. Right. And it, since it's genetic, it's something that she'll always have. And it's scary to hear that she can go into shock. It's scary to hear that she can go into a coma. Like, But the fact that that's realistic, that scares me. When did you find out that Ryder had this? So I found out the second day I brought her home. She actually has an appointment coming up to get her blood work done. So it'll be interesting to see what they say. They took her off her medicine about a week ago so that um, when we get her blood work done this week, it will show like how her levels are. Untampered and tampered, or like while well, she's on medicine, right. unmedicated. Right, to see if she needs to keep on taking the medicine or if she can go right now without it. And I'm nervous and... I'm sure it must be nerve wracking. Corey is better with it than I do. That's Can't so great that Corey is being so helpful. Yeah, he's a good He's a nice dude. Yeah, he's a good guy. I like guy. him. I guess we can keep him. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. How was it? She cried. Ryder did really good. Really yeah, good. Ryder's yeah, it was the grown people we had to worry about. Did, yeah. they only take, yeah. did they only take it from her arm this time? She only had a poker once, which was nice. She had to fill up three nice little tubes. Ryder did really well. This doctor's appointment, I felt, was one of the better ones. Yeah. yeah. Because early on, the doctor would say things, and it would be like, oh my, you know, they were scary. This yeah. time, they were more like, wow, look at her. 
Yeah, this she time they're more like looking at her, like yeah. they see like how strong she is, and you know that she's curious and she's grabbing things, and you know. So it's back to see how her levels are without her taking her medicine. When you say levels, like what are her carnitine level? Okay. Which is like her energy level, basically. Um, yeah. It's something that can be controlled with diet. That yeah. You, yeah, you may not necessarily have to take medicine. Right. Okay. Right. And that would be the best news is to get that back. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Just say she doesn't need to take it. I'm really excited to celebrate my sister today. And I hope Corey isn't caught off guard by her offer to be the godfather. Corey, may I use your presence for a moment? Yeah. No. Diane, come here. Um, I just want to thank everybody for coming and sharing this day with me. As I continue in my journey, I couldn't think of anyone besides Cheyenne and Corey in terms of support and like being there for me. So I have these two little trinkets for them, where basically I'm asking if you guys will be Boz's godparents. Oh. And this is... <laughs> We're honored. We will gladly take him. Oh, you in now, boy. You in now. Look at my shirt! Uh, oh. Why are parents Y'all see that? Oh. Hey. You now you're me. really stuck with me? And me. And her. That's cute. Oh, man. That's crazy. I did not see that coming. Up. <laughs> you don't even know it yet, but you have a little boy cousin coming on the way. We got to be there for him. All right? I'm really happy that Corey is becoming such a big part of my family, but it's also making me question my feelings towards him. Go, Riders! Go, Riders! I'm happy you guys came today. Yeah. Kyle Lynn had a good day. Corey was for sure surprised. That was so beautiful. Bringing Corey into my family, like, the craziness. The craziness <laughs> in my family. That and he's yeah. like, I love this. Like, yeah, he's here for it. He's like, why do you say sorry? And I'm, it takes a special person, though, because it takes a We're crazy as friends. Person. Your family is crazy. Like, everyone just absolutely, like, I know, but rockets. I think that's what makes me love Corey so much more. Mm. Yeah. Not like that. I love Corey so much more. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I don't. I mean, uh, I don't know if it is because Zach and I broke up or because Michigan was such a good trip. I love going out there and I love seeing them with Ryder and I love seeing how like Corey's mom is with Ryder. I didn't know that about him or his family before I had a baby with them, so I just right. feel lo so like lucky that I know that. I mean, it's easy to get it confusing because like you and Corey have such a genuine relationship, so it's hard to separate baby daddy versus like actual feelings for something right. more. That's what it is. Like, I love, I love our relationship. I love that we're goofy. It's I love, I love sure. all of it. I love how we parent. I love that we can talk every day and communicate about Ryder. I love all of it, and it's at what point do I separate that versus, like, my feelings for him? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to feel. I mean, everything else has been easy up until this point because now you're single, so you're able to see clearly. You know what I mean? Like, previously... Yeah, but seeing clearly is It is but, like, now you have to actually de deal with what you see. My head is just so mixed up. Yeah. This weekend, I rented a house to celebrate my birthday with all my friends. Corey is coming out with us tonight, and since I've been single, my feelings for him have grown. So things could get interesting. Literally the best thing you've ever done. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Besides that, Besides you, <laughs> you look like a Barbie tonight. Barbie! That was a great choice. Barbie train. And um, get ready to explode at the club tonight.
the way that you guys have brought me into the family, I'm so thankful for it. Thank you. You are an amazing mother. You are an amazing person. Yes. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Hey. Keep... Let's have a good night tonight. So, yeah. Yeah. Tonight. Ooh. Oh, so how do we feel about clubbing? Yeah. With baby daddy tonight. What if someone like, comes up to you and try to holler? I do have it. Just ask for it. Are you gonna be like, you gotta talk to my baby daddy for permission? I never thought about this. Thought about what? Let me ask. Mama. Say, if we're in the club tonight, if some girl comes and tries to talk to you, do you? Do you say, oh, no, I'm here with my baby mama, or do you just, like, do what you were going to do? No, I'm not disrespectful like that. Oh, what are you going to say? I'm say, I'm here with her. I'm here with Cheyenne. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, come on now. OK, you want me to be honest? She actually asked me the other way around. She said, if somebody comes and tries to talk tonight, like, what are you going to say? That's not worried about that. <laughs> It's been almost a year since we got the DNA results that Corey's writers dad. We've been co-parenting well, but I just want Corey to acknowledge that there's more to our relationship. I got two, one for Ryder, one for you. Oh, so nice. You're welcome. Thanks, there's Corey. Ryder. You make up for being late. Hey. Who's late when you come with flowers? <laughs> You're still late, bud. Uh, Remember uh, last year when you got me flowers and you found out you were a daddy? That's been a year now. Tomorrow. Is it weird? It doesn't feel like a year. It doesn't, right? It doesn't. How's the year been for you, though? <laughs> a change? This time last year, I was definitely, you know, in a terrible place. Right. Then just who I was, but I don't know. This year has been, um, I think, full of blessings and opportunities. How do you think it's changed since you've been single? Being um, single and having Ryder is just Yeah, let's just talk like, about this love life of yours, because it's not. you're very all over the place. No, you I'm not. You don't know what you want. You don't know what, do what you want. What do you mean I don't know what I want? I, you don't know what you want. And I know what I want in a man. Last time we talked, you said that you started to kind of have feelings for me is uh -huh. kind of like a yield sign for me. Because I'm not ready for that yet. Right. Go do you. I do me. OK, good. OK. Then you're not sitting around waiting for me, so don't worry about it. All right. It's Halloween, and it's also the one-year anniversary of Corey finding out he's Ryder's dad. Even though he doesn't want a relationship right now, I still want him to know how much I value him as a father. So I'm throwing him a party to celebrate. Cheers. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Happy Day. Day. <laughs> I said, listen, we're going to be stick people this year. <laughs> She's so mad I made her wear this. <laughs> Not a lot of people can make it look good. You make it look good, Sean. Thanks, Cor. <laughs> First of all, I just wanted to welcome everyone to our home. This is the night that uh, Corey first met his daughter. Shine, yeah. you have the floor. OK, so this time last year, this night went 100% different. <laughs> I made all my family sit in the kitchen so that when Corey walked in, he wasn't overwhelmed. As you can tell, we're an overwhelming family. She was dressed like a hot dog, so imagine meeting your kid like that. <laughs> but um, he handled it very well. One of the questions that we always, or that I always get is, why is Corey so loved in your house? Why is he so cherished? When I found out I was pregnant, I thought to myself, this is the hardest thing in the world. And then going through labor and bringing her home and then having to bring her back to the hospital and then learning that she has a genetic condition, I literally was like, this is the hardest thing. There was nothing else that could be thrown my way because it was literally going to take me out. 
So when Corey came and he was visiting Ryder every day, I think that I think that you thought that you were doing something for her, but you didn't know all the pain that I carried for that time, and you don't know how much you took away so much pain that I had. It was like you brought me out of one of the darkest places that I've ever been during one of the times that should be the happiest in my life. You didn't just say, I'm gonna be her dad. You said, I'm gonna be her dad, and I'm gonna be the best that there is. You got some tears coming down my eyes, you know? Yeah. The Halloween party was a lot of fun, but things between Corey and I got super interesting. Hello, sister. Oh, boy, oh, boy. It sounds like you got something to tell me. So after the party, I ended up going to Corey's house with him, and my mom had Ryder. And we, um, Wait. <laughs> Properly celebrated his one year as a dad and did the nasty. Shut up! <laughs> so is the rider number two in store? Oh, Lord, no. We were just buzz. It wasn't like some drunk, sloppy sex. It was just like... You guys made love. <laughs> I never said that. definitely different from before and now the last I heard was a two minute the two minute interaction and then Ryder right so hopefully it was longer than two minutes <laughs> <laughs> I oh, would say you, that he definitely redeemed himself from the first time <laughs> give it up for Corey and that didn't help because it was like whoa this is nice. I can do this again. It caught you by surprise, sister. <laughs> I can't really believe it. I cannot. I don't want it to just turn into like what we have. We're just having sex, like, and then what? No, no sex for you guys is like the last part of it. Like you guys do everything we, else. You right, but that's what I'm saying. It's like. Parenting. It's like we're in a freaking relationship. We just don't want to admit that we're in a relationship. And now it's like we did the physical That's part. What I'm it's like, uh, you know, I just don't know what this to do cool. now. I don't know what to do now. Ryder came down with the flu. She wasn't eating enough, and because of her genetic disorder, VLCAD, this could be dangerous. So she needed to be rushed to the hospital. Ryder, are you okay? Yeah. I posted about it on social media to connect with other parents, and I've been keeping Corey updated, but I wish he would just come home from Mexico. I love you. I love you, I love you too. Are you all better? Yeah. We are born. Corey's back from his trip, and Ryder's been released from the hospital. I'm glad she's doing a lot better, but it was really hard to see her so sick. Ready to go. Look at her, she has her feet in the thing. Even though I've dealt with complications from Ryder's genetic condition before, her hospitalization really scared me. Seeing her so sick made me realize how serious Veil Cat is, and I really need Corey to understand that too. It's so, so wonderful to see her back to Ryder. She's a strong little girl. Oh my goodness. I can't tell you how proud I am of my baby, my other baby here, sitting here. She was wonderful. You were shy. Well, you know, um, that was hard. That, that, was was that was really hard. Ryder being sick was one of my worst days. But with me posting that, I've probably received so many, like, messages and emails of people who are dealing with the same thing that are like, thank you for like showing what we go through. And now I always say it, Instagram or social media is your highlight reel and you post your best pictures, you post your best things. And I've tried to open up to post my worst days and Corey missed all of it. Corey was- Corey was out of town, now. but as soon as he got back, he came to the hospital. Came the last day. 
I think he wanted him to understand because one of the things I commend Cheyenne. He's never going to understand if he doesn't right. see the, the times where she is screaming like she's about to die. He's never going to understand what she has until then, and, and he missed it again, and I'll... Well, he, well, we, he, at the end I, of the day, he wasn't there. He missed the process. So to my, my head, he still doesn't understand that your child has a rare disease and that when she has the flu or when she has a fever, it's not a normal flu or fever. She could go into shock. She can have a seizure. She could die. Like, you have to understand these things. Right. My relationship with Matt is getting serious, so I invited him to come to Ryder's second birthday party this week. He's flying in today from Baltimore, so Corey's picking up Ryder so we can go out. It's Daddy! Go open the door! Oh, that's scary. <laughs> Hi, Mooch! Hi! Mm. Hi! Okay, she's yeah, okay. What's up, Shaw? What's going on? Good to see you. I have to show you everything. Are you ready for the party box? What are these shoes? These are Ryder's shoes and binkies for the day. Okay. This is walk-in. Walk-in. This is playtime, play and then time. this is cake time. Okay, three outfits for one day. Got it. All right, it's in your hands. How do you guys feel about Matt and Taylor being at the party tomorrow? She's more than welcome to come to the birthday party and don't feel awkward. Don't feel She's like you coming. She'll, yeah. she'll stop so in. She wants to see Ryder. Have you Matt yet? Um, I have not. So he's flying in, so. Yeah. Does he plan on living here or what? What's the deal so with that? So his plan is to move here. Nice. Yeah, I think it's good. He's really nice. OK. One big happy family, huh? <laughs> Hell yeah, we can all sit at the same table. Nice. <laughs> Full house. <laughs> I'm excited Matt's here, so we're going out tonight, but I'm nervous about tomorrow. This will be the first time Corey and I and the people we're seeing will be together. And I hope everyone keeps a focus on Ryder since it's her day. The birthday party is gonna work with everybody coming. And Corey and Matt haven't met, and I want to like pay Matt attention just so he doesn't feel like overwhelmed with the situation. I feel like Corey should want to do the same for Taylor. Did I tell you I talked? I called her. Taylor? <laughs> no. Please share. I will stop my game. I called her last week. Basically, I tried to say that. Me wanting to talk to her was not something against her. It was just more so if I would want to talk to anyone that's going to be around Ryder, like on a serious level. And I think she took it well. I, I told her, like, we don't have to be friends. We don't have to be best friends. But you have to be able to communicate with me in a healthy way because you are around my baby. You know, I know she's coming to the birthday party. But at the end of the day, this isn't your day. It's not my day. It's not Matt's day. It's not Corey's day. This is Ryder's day. And I promise you, if anyone tries to take that away from her, I'll play security and kick everybody the out. I should have just got to a shirt that says security. I'm dead ass. Today is Ryder's birthday party. And even though there are a lot of new relationships in the mix, I hope we can all focus on Ryder having a good day. Babe, what time is Ryder supposed to get here? Corey's supposed to leave his house at 12 so that she can be here by 1. So first of all, let me just start by saying thank you guys all for coming out. Thank you to Cheyenne. She put all this together, okay? I got to sit back. Ryder's about to uh, attack this cake right now. I love you. It turned love out it's really cute, Chuck. Yeah, it is. Because I had a Corey and his girlfriend. Oh Tears. You were sleeping? Hey. She's Hi. so tired. Hi. Oh. Happy Mother's Day, Shy. Thanks, Cor. Oh, my. 
This is all I wanted to do. Yeah. I'm good with just this. You good with that? Yeah. She'll fall asleep right on you. You painted this for me? That's so pretty. I'm going to frame them. Mm. That's a facial and a massage. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you for my Mother's Day gifts, Ryder. We How took her to uh, the How aquarium yesterday, mm -hmm. and it was good. Taylor's good with her, so that's good. I was going to ask how she's doing with Ryder. How does Ryder like her? She likes her better than me. For real? She, yeah. I'm here, Ryder. <laughs> Anytime you need me, I'm right here. Well, that's good. But that's because good. she's comfortable then. Yeah. She texted me Happy Mother's Day. She did? Mm-hmm. Wow. I feel really bad now because... Oh, <laughs> we're talking I kind of talked oh, a little Of course he did. <laughs> I felt like doing that takes a very mature individual, and I just said I wasn't sure if we were there yet. One point for Taylor. Yes, Taylor got She's a point. still negative 10, so. Okay, well that's not, I never said that. Uh, I you all along, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bring somebody around Ryder if I didn't feel like they were ready for all of that. Yeah, there's no funny business when it comes to that. No funny business. Today's a fundraiser to benefit families with VLCAD. We sold tickets to an all-day workout event with celebrity trainers, and I don't have much time to set up. Pull three tablecloths. We're going to pull the tables out of here, put the food on this opposite wall. Corey's bringing Ryder, so my boyfriend Matt and the rest of my friends and family are helping me. But this is my event, so if it's a mess, it ultimately falls on me. All right, we have 15 minutes until we start. This is not working. Hold on, I need to figure this out. <laughs> is everything going okay? Just give me a second, I'm trying to figure this out. Don't be annoyed, I'm sorry. Hey, are you on your way? It's Beverly Boulevard. Oh my, I'm 45 minutes away. You're lying. No. Okay. No. You good? You're on time? You working? No, I'm not on time. Corey's not here and the first class starts at 12.15. He was supposed to be here at 11.30. It's 12 o'clock now. And he's teaching the first class? Yeah. It's like, how many ways can you drop the ball? I don't understand. I do all this work and I just need you to show up on time. I can't believe Corey's late. He's quick to say I have too much on my plate, but when I need him to step up, he doesn't. So I'm just gonna have to figure everything out. Corey went to the wrong address. He went to Beverly Drive and not Boulevard and he has writer and he's now 30 minutes away. Okay, you 30 minutes out? But why did he know? Okay, what? I'm just so irritated. Because he's the first instructor, right? Him yeah. and her hand. Okay, we, let's start at the time we said where we gotta start. We gotta start, and Corey just won't teach a class. All right, let's get, I'm gonna get her hand set up. Okay, what you get with the sound guy and get your headsets yeah. on? We're about to start. And uh, finally, thank you to Cheyenne, okay, for opening up and utilizing her platform. She's here today to, to utilize her platform to bring awareness to the importance of the newborn screening test. So we're here to support Ryder K, okay? We're here to support her, uh, her nonprofit. Our first workout today is gonna be by Corey. He's on his way right now, but for the time being, we, we are gonna get started with things uh, over here today, so. Coming. There's been a lot of, I'm gonna try not to cry, work that was put in today. So when Ryder was born, we found out two days later that Ryder has Fiocad. And I basically said, okay, I can either sulk and be sad that I have a sick child, or I can take this head on and start a nonprofit. I wanna bring awareness to this. So I have a ton of support. Ryder has a ton of support. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 
despite Corey being late, everything worked out and the event was a huge success. I realized I may have overreacted, so I should just let it go. Woo! Give me some. Good job, yo. Good day. You always impress me. You always do such a good job. You really should start your own company. I'm really happy with today, so thank you for once again allowing me to do what I want to do and showing up a little late. I was freaking out because I wanted you to do that first class, but it was a good event. We raised around 10 to 15,000. I'm really happy with how the day went. I That's was actually something that I see you guys doing for a long time. Yeah. For NDC for Rare Disease Day, and my whole family joined us. We look like a mob. Today's the big event where tons of families living with rare diseases are getting together to share their stories. I haven't been around other people going through what Ryder, Corey, and I go through with BLCAD, so I'm really happy that we found a community and that we can do this as a family. Hi, beautiful. Yeah. Hi, pretty girl. Say hi. 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 What's your name? Say Corey. Corey? Hi. I'm Cheyenne. Say nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh my gosh. Corey, look. And Corey's it's too. Corey it's a Corey. Hey. 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 What's her diagnosis? She has osteogenesis imperfecta. It means brittle bones. So sometimes she's like rolling around on the floor, but she'll break her arm. Wow. Oh my gosh. It is what it is, but she's a good kid. Yeah. That's not she's blessed to have a good mama. Thank you. She's a little soldier, though. Yes. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Now we have a few words from our guest speaker, Cheyenne Floyd. My name is Cheyenne. I am the founder of Rage Regardless Rye, our nonprofit honoring our daughter, Ryder. I have to be honest. And never in my life did I think that I would have to speak at a rare disease day event. Let alone talk about my daughter. When our babies have conditions, or they get sick, or they may look different, we're forced to step into the front line of a battlefield. And we're armored with power that we honestly never knew existed. And together, we make a difference. We are the voices to make the unseen seen. They still keep you alive, saving me It's been several weeks since we've been back from DC, and the coronavirus has turned our world upside down. But Corey and Taylor have their baby, and it's finally safe for Ryder to meet her. It's hard for me not to be a part of this moment with Ryder. You're gonna tickle her. Yeah, I'm gonna laugh. Oh, and she's gonna laugh. I'm here. Yeah. I miss you so much. Uh -oh. You wanna go see me though? You wrote the name right there. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Give me a kiss, Ray Ray. See you later, okay? Call me. See you later. Remember to be nice. Love you, Ready. Got a lot going on, but we got this. <laughs> got this. Life is great. Okay. That was a lot. Yeah, I think I am. I'm sorry, sister. It's okay. I just never thought I would be dropping Ryder off to meet her sister. sister. Yeah. Instead of like bringing a baby home and meet her sister. Right. The feeling of having to drop your daughter off to another woman. I wouldn't wish that on Taylor. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. Yeah. Since Ryder has a rare disease, getting sick can be very dangerous for her. So I'm especially nervous how COVID could affect her. To keep her safe, we really don't go out much and spend most of our time in my mom's backyard. Today, I have a personal trainer coming over to help me stay in shape. It 
is hot. It's gonna be hotter this weekend. <laughs> What's she laughing at? What's going on up there? Who are you talking to, Shy? Nobody. Whoever it is, you look pretty happy. Who is it? I'm not telling you. Mind Why? your business. You are my business. <laughs> no, it's nobody. So who was it? Zach. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, look, it's like a family meeting now. <laughs> oh, Lord. OK. Did you hear that? You and Zachary are uh, talking again? Has it been a week? Is this like a month? It's been like a few months. A few, a few months. months, really? Like quarantine time. Oh, on? yes, perfect timing. Hello, Nate. <laughs> Hi, Beautiful <laughs> timing. Let's get it going. OK, we'll finish this conversation later. I'm three, we're going to go. Three, two, go. I should have probably peed before we did this. Should have Guess what, you guys? Coffee. I'm still snickering. <laughs> Zach is back. <laughs> Mom, <shut up>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. She's running to that thought. Yeah. That was a good workout. I feel OK. I mean, I didn't like die. I mean, yeah. some things I couldn't do, but. You've been working out, so now you can do the workout. Well, let's get to the you juicy and part of the conversation. So cute working out together. I just knew the juicy part was going to come out. I knew. I <laughs> felt get to it. The juicy part. Why do I feel like I'm getting interviewed or something? Well, you know, we love Zach, but I'm just, how did that, how did it come about? Jen? He initiated the conversation. I was just like, is this quarantine talking? Like, am I going crazy? Like, right. Zach was around. He's been around for, for since you were, what, 17? 16. He's lived with us. Zach like... has went, he went through <sighs> mom and dad's divorce with me. Oh. He went through Ryder's whole pregnancy with me. He was there, Ryder came home from the hospital. Like, he's been there for, like, monumental days. So it's not like Zach is new to our lives. Like, is he just like, hey, let's be friends again, let's be cordial, or is he like, hey, like, no, he's made his How intentions do we... very clear. What's you know up? his intentions. I know his intentions. Why are we going to play this game? He wants to put a ring on the finger and a, a bun in the oven. Since we were in high school, he's been talking about that. Like, when we talked about, like, why it didn't work the last time, I think at that stage, everything was so new. Still figuring out how to co-parent with Corey was new. Right. And my mindset was, if there was a chance to make something work with Ryder's dad, that I was going to do it for the sake of Rye. And I feel like we all got it out of our system and realized, like, this isn't it, and yeah. we just need a co-parent. And now that we have, like, our co-parenting down and our schedule down and created boundaries and space and... You have, like, a system and a routine. Yeah, like, our routine guys. is good now, so I feel comfortable dating. I still can't believe you guys had a girl. Yeah. Be a lot more quarantine babies. I'm sure there are. People are going to be booed up. Talking about booze, who's your boo? You got a new boo? I'm celibate. You're celibate. I'm just. I'm surprised. You've been single for a long time. I'm just, you know, like. enjoying my time. Yeah. As safely as I can. As many smiles <laughs> as I can. <laughs> Something's going on, man. I got a taste for God. I know Corey thinks that I'm dating someone, but I don't want to tell him yet because it's none of his business. I want some space to figure out where my relationship with Zach is headed before letting him know. Corey brought Rye home, so my mom's watching her now. So have you told Corey yet? It's not really any of his business, unless it involves, like, Ryder, you know? Yeah. How do you feel about the whole co-parenting thing with Corey and I? Because I know that that last time caused us some problems. We got to spend the day together as I had fun. Family. Oh, oh. Yeah. Diane never invites Zach to anything, does she? Oh, shut up. Oh. It's almost like you're more so in a relationship with him. I would never, ever put you second to another woman. Why are we ranking it? Rank it or not. I don't think it's going to be as complicated as it was in the past. Yeah. Like, I have more understanding of what you were trying to do and what your goals were now, so. Of course, my goal would be you and Corey yeah. got along. I just think it's healthy. I agree. I guess I haven't even asked you, like, if you have any negative feelings towards Corey or if you feel like there's going to be a problem or... I don't see myself having a problem with them. I don't know. I mean, I know my intentions. Which are what? Pretty much, I mean, pick up where we left off. What are your intentions? 
you know, I feel like we have to almost relearn each other for who we are now. Do you want to do it this time, or like, are you gonna commit? I feel like I'm a commitment kind of girl. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Really? <laughs> I say, yeah, let's commit and you burp with the f sack. <laughs> oh my god. Why are we together? Jesus Christ. Because you love me. Because you love me. <laughs> <laughs> my friends were with me through the breakups that Zach and I had. So I know they won't be thrilled about us getting back together. Hey, hey. <laughs> Hi, Zach. But I need to tell them because things are getting serious and I know he's going to be around more. Hey girl. How are you? I'm good. How was work? A lot per use. How have things been with you? A lot per use. <laughs> What's going on? So a few months ago, an old friend of mine reached out and we started talking and now we're what is this? What is this motion? <laughs> you know. Oh, we're. I mean, not. We're hanging. Well, okay, stop. So <laughs> hands. We're hanging out. Okay. Wh who is this man friend? Think like when I was pregnant with Ryder, and then like a little bit after. Are you talking about Zach? Yes. <laughs> what? It's so random. But how did this? <laughs> How you haven't happen? spoken to Zach in like so long. I know. <laughs> Wait, so who else have you told? Have you told Remy yet? Because I know she. I have not and I refuse. <laughs> well, I'm about to call Remy real fast. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Girl. What you doing? I'm with this one. It's me. Hi, Rem. Thank you. You look beautiful. Butter up. Remy, your friend is talking to Zach again. So I know that this is a dumb question to ask you, but do you think this is a bad idea? Yes, of course. I'm a trillion million thousand person. I think it's a bad idea. And I mean, I don't know, Shy. Like, but I've seen you in relationships and I've seen when you're happy and I just didn't get that when you guys were together. It kind of seems like it was more of a bother for him to be around. What has changed some, since that some moment? Wine after has this. he grown? Has he, you know, gone through about how to be independent class? Like, what happened? All right, thanks for your inside, Rim. Love you. Bye. <laughs> oh, no. She has valid points, to be honest. I feel like we have to talk to Zach, too. I knew that I was coming. We're going to have to, like, really get to know the 2020 version of Zach. The 2020 so far has been some <laughs> So we just need to make sure. I knew my friends weren't going to take the news that I'm back with Zach well. Get out of my bed. I love you. <laughs> They're coming over to talk to him, and I know they have some questions, but I hope they don't give him too much of a hard time. <laughs> No, don't don't start leaning on me again. You're just gonna go get the door for your friends. Sorry. Hi. That's so sad. Wow, you guys have one real close. Hey, girl. Hey, hi. Hello. Oh, <laughs> look who it is. Hi, uh, ladies. Zach, what? Hi, Remy. I'm back. <laughs> we bought a computer. Why do you have a computer, though? So, Remy and I compiled all of our top questions that we have for you into one presentation called, How Did We Get Here? <laughs> Where did here. you find these two? We need answers. Oh, Yo, wow. look at that picture. <laughs> so tell us, who's 2020 Zach? 2020 Zach figured himself out more, a lot more grounded, has a goal. And me moving out of Shai's place and I have my own place, my own stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah. How do you plan on like maintaining your own identity in Shai's like busy world? By doing the same thing that I was doing when I came back in her life this third time. I understand her schedule, I understand her work life. Mm -hmm. And I understand her and Corey's co-parenting relationship. Makes it a lot easier on my end. Okay. Well. Do you have any lingering ex-girlfriends? I'm back with her. 
Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so what mistakes did you make in your last relationship that you're going to avoid in this one? Maybe alcohol? Mm -hmm. I was like, that played a, alcohol. I, that, that played a major role <laughs> in it that <laughs> night. I'm not gonna lie, it yeah. did. That's big. I can you. own up to mm -hmm. it and say yeah. it did. So. All right. So with that, we have a slide called "Doing Things Differently." What is your main non-negotiable in this relationship? Consistency. Don't start off strong and then wither away. Do you have any insecurities going into this relationship for a third time? that it's the third time. This okay. third time is non-negotiable. Hmm. All right. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> One of our last questions yes. is, what do you admire the most about Shy? I admire everything about you, baby. Oh. <laughs> I admire everything about you, baby. Mm -hmm. Love you, girl. Come on, mom. <laughs> OK, we have to deliberate. Deliberation, okay. please. All right. All right, so I kind of like look at each other. We can together. hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, so after much deliberation, we did come up with a decision. <laughs> Why are we friends? You are guilty <laughs> of love! <laughs> I feel like I'm on Shark Tank, y'all <laughs> so You guys are great. <laughs> Today's ours birthday dinner, and everyone in our bubble got tested to make sure the party is safe. I'm excited because it's the first time in a while that our friends and family are getting together. Corey's supposed to have his first call from the challenge today, so hopefully he calls before the party gets started. So, Shy. Yes. Is Zach coming today? Yes. Does Corey know about Zach yet? No, 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 no. <laughs> it just hasn't come up, but I no, mean, I it's you. not like it's a secret. No, so. I understand. I mean, I get it. Yeah. You don't have to report. Right, and that's <laughs> the thing, like, I don't... I don't feel like I need to right, bring it up. Say anytime I go on a date and tell him, but right, right, right. now you. that you know he is really back around, and what does that mean that he's really back around? Like he hangs out with Ryder and stuff, so yeah. that's the only reason why I would make it a conversation with Corey because he's around the baby. Right, right. Ryder, no? come here. He's calling. There's Daddy. Be careful. Hey. <laughs> Hold on. Here she goes. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Brad. What are you doing? I'm on the challenge. What are you doing on the challenge? I'm trying to win. That's what I'm trying to do. But. I just saw you look called socks. Huh? Oh. Socks. What huh? did she say? Huh? <laughs> What about Zach, Ryder? Uh, Ryder. what? Has, has mommy been going to Zach's house? No. No? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Ryder. Cover up for me. Good no. job. <laughs> Even though you snitched. So, what does she mean, Zach? What is, what is going on? Zach and I are dating again. Dating? <laughs> <laughs> I, I leave for a couple of weeks and now you're dating one of your exes? Ryder, I, is it a good idea? What? Dating Zach? Mm mm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like Zach? Yeah, Zach is nice, right? Mm -hmm. Is Zach nice to you? Ryder, good. Ryder, we just want mommy to be happy, okay? Daddy, watch me, Daddy. Let me see. I'm actually okay with you talking to somebody that Ryder's already been used to being around. Oh, thank you so much. Huh? Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>